Hello and welcome back to Hingeback Tortoise Central. My name is Tom Arbor and this channel is all about tortoises and I keep hingeback tortoises. And today we're gonna take a look at how I feed my tortoises a plant-based meal. Now while I keep hingeback tortoises, what I'm gonna show you today is applicable to any tortoise that eats plants. So our goal is to feed the tortoise as many different plants as we can and still have it be relatively simple and easy. Diversity is the key in a tortoise diet. We want to provide it as many different plants as possible. So I'm going to show you how I do it and we'll take a look at just how well the tortoises eat this diet. The base prepared food that I start with is Zumed Natural Forest Tortoise. This has higher protein and some fruit in the form of mango. So if you have a species that doesn't eat fruit, select the Zumed Grassland Formula instead of the Zumed Forest Tortoise Formula. So what is so great about the Zumed Tortoise Diet is that it has a lot of long stem fiber. And this fiber helps the tortoise move the food through the digestive system. The salad greens that we feed our tortoises does not have that long stem fiber. But a lot of people look at this and see how hard it is. I mean, it's hard as a rock. And they say, how am I going to get my tortoise to eat that stuff? Did you hear that? This stuff is hard. We're going to soften it up with some water. That's it. Now I think the biggest mistake that people make with Zumed is that they wait for the pellets to soften. But that's not the point. Unlike Missouri pellets, we're not trying to get the pellets to soften. What we're trying to do is get the pellets to rehydrate. And when that happens, they're not pellets anymore. What we're looking for is those pellets to break down into a mash that we can mix with some salad greens that we buy from the grocery store. So here you can see that process is already started. I had water up to the top of the pellets and now you cannot see any water at all. And that is the trick. It's to really give these pellets a lot of water so that they start to break down. And you can see that is already happening. The pellets are still a little bit dry and they've sucked up all the water. So that means it's time to add some more. And we're back and look how much water that food sucked up. And when it sucks up that much water, the pellets disintegrate pretty quickly. There's still a few hard bits in the center of each pellet, and if you want it softened up all the way, you can certainly put it in the refrigerator overnight and it will be, all be soft. But if you want your Zumed to soften up, all you need to do is just add quite a bit of water. So at that point, what we could do is take that Zumed mash, put it with the greens, and mix it up. But we're gonna take it one step further and add even more plants. Next up are some dried flowers and herbs that I get from Will Espenshade of Capodolo Farms. Will sells these as organically sourced products so they are super safe for our tortoises. And what I'm currently using are hibiscus petal, moringa, which is an Asian tree species loaded with nutrients, and rose hips, which are the fruits of roses and also add a lot of vitamin C to the mix. And finally, I have some of my own dried common plant leaves that I grow in the backyard, put them in a food dehydrator, and then feed to the tortoises all winter long. We'll grab another bowl and put a little bit of each product in the bowl. And we will add water to these things as well. And because the leaves float really easily, we're just gonna mix this up a little bit so that everything maintains contact and gets contact with the water. And we'll come back in 10 minutes and check this as well. 
you can see it has moistened quite nicely and I'm happy with that. So now we've got these things ready, we're gonna add those to the greens. But guess what, it's 7.30 at night, the lights have gone off in the tortoise cages, and they're asleep. So we'll put this stuff in the fridge overnight, add it to some greens tomorrow, feed it to the tortoises, and see how they like it. We're gonna be using four different types of things we bought from the grocery store. These are mustard greens, this is chopped nopal, or a puncha cactus, red dandelion greens, and methi or fenugreek. We want as much surface area as we can so that our mash of the Zumed pellets and the dried plants sticks as much as possible to these greens. Then I'm gonna take out of the fridge our mash. I'm gonna stir this up the best I can. This is enough for two meals, so I'm only gonna use half of this, and the rest will go in the fridge for tomorrow. You can see all that good long stem fiber in there. Actually like a stick. That is what we're talking about. That is what the tortoises would be eating as they browse around the landscape. They're not just going to eat the super duper soft, nice, sweet part of the greens. They're going to eat other stuff. And they need that other stuff to live and thrive. That's called fiber, long stem fiber. So now we do the last part and that's to mix it all up. And what our goal is, is for that mash, those little bits of dried plant material that have now been rehydrated to cover the greens so that that stuff sticks and the tortoise can't pick it off. So this girl, I, I just put the food in and she comes running. This is Blondie. She's the one that's laid three clutches of eggs, total of 14 since Thanksgiving. Now Brownie, it takes her a couple hours to get going. So we'll check back. And the same with our males. They're hiding in their mulch and in their plants, but they'll warm up and start to eat. There we go, Brownie's eating. So all in all, we've added 22 plant species to their meal. The key to feeding these guys is diversity. Try to feed them as many different things as possible. They might not eat this right away, but what you do is start with their favorite foods and add a little bit and increase the amount of the dried foods over time and they will love it just like my animals do. Thanks for watching. Go Hinge Back Tortoises.